Water is very important. It keeps us healthy, it keeps us clean, and it's a lot of fun to play in. But we must do our part to make sure the water we use is clean and healthy. Let's take a closer look. Most of us know the chemical compound of water is H2O. This means that water is made up of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. Some solutions have more hydrogen and some have less. pH tests for how much hydrogen is in a solution. Let's take a closer look at the letters P and H and the terms acid and base. Water has a range of pH or potential of hydrogen of 6 to 8. 7 is ideal for aquatic plants and animals. pH that is too high or too low in our water is not good. This scale of common household items shows how acidic or basic a liquid is. For example, things like lemons and batteries are very acidic. There are many more loose hydrogen ions in these substances. On the other hand, soap and drain cleaner are very alkaline or basic. There are fewer loose hydrogen ions in these substances. Notice that water is right in the middle. It's a neutral substance that has a pH of 7. Now, let's see how a high or low pH in water can affect us and our environment. Water with a higher pH can have a bitter taste and can cause scale buildup on water fixtures and shower doors. Water with a lower pH can taste sour. It can cause rust stains and corrode pipes that result in plumbing leaks. In our waterways, pH levels in water impact the health of the fish and plants that live there. Fish, marine life, reefs, and plant life need a stable environment to grow and thrive. Most marine life needs a pH of around 7. Fish prefer this neutral pH level. They have a hard time surviving in water with a pH under 6 or above 8. Now, let's conduct our own pH test. First, make sure you have safety gear. If you don't have a lab coat, an old shirt can protect your clothes and goggles are recommended. You'll also need pH test strips. These are sold in pharmacies and online. Next, gather a selection of liquids. Observe each liquid. Note its appearance and color and what each liquid is. Give your best guess prediction for each solution that you are testing. Test your liquid with the pH paper and record your data. Look at your pH chart to determine if each liquid is acidic, neutral, or basic. Was your prediction correct? Were your results what you thought they would be? Determine if each pH is a healthy environment for fish to live in. We can all help fish and plants survive by not polluting our waterways. Water pollution can come from many sources, like trash, old medicines, and cooking grease. Hazardous chemicals are another type of pollutant and should not go down the drain. Instead, take any harmful material to your local landfill's hazardous waste drop-off location where you can dispose of it safely. So-called flushable wipes and cooking grease should always go in the trash. Properly dispose of grease so it doesn't leak out of your trash bag. Old medication should go in the trash unless your doctor recommends an alternate method to dispose of them. Regardless, care must be taken. Conceal or remove any personal information, including the prescription number from the original prescription container by covering it with permanent marker or duct tape or by scratching it off. Place the sealed container that contains the drug mixture into the trash. We all like a beautiful lawn, but when the fertilizer we put on our lawns washes into the storm drain, it harms the fish and plants. Use an environmentally friendly product instead. We've covered a lot in this video. We've learned about the chemical makeup of water and how this fluid and others are either acidic or alkaline. We also learned how pH levels that are too high or low in our homes and environment can have a big impact. And finally, we learned how we can become better environmental stewards. Remember, quality of water equals quality of life. <laughs>